previously on Final Fantasy 16. Oh, mommy. <gasps> Torgo's alive! Oh, I'll be hungry for titty! And now back to Yoshi Peak Fiction. Hello! Sneaker B! Back with some more Final Fantasy 16. When we last left off, Clive and his good old best buddy, Sidolphus. Hey, I hear too. Okay, to also his best buddy, Torgo. Thank you. Broke into Karen or Vent in order to find the kidnapped Dominant of Fire, which led to a badass standoff between freaking Sidolphus and Benedicta. <laughs> it was the most like Dragon Ball fight ever. But of course we can't have Sid do all the work and him do all that stuff in a cutscene. So Sid, you go to sleep for a bit. Oh goody, it looks like it's my turn now. Which led to us fighting two of her cronies before finally facing off against the woman herself. On top of the roof, beneath the moonlight. Oh, how picturesque. And I got you beating my ass, ah! And after nearly pulling out a victory, Clive then decided to just yeet away her powers somehow leaving her completely Garuda-less, which now gives Clive the cool ability to Nero his, op his opponents and yank them to him. And the true game begins now. Now we truly devil may crying. But uh, Benedict wasn't crazy about that. And clearly there must still be some remnants of uh, her connection to Garuda, cause that crazy bitch, oh my God, she just fucking blew the area up. Primed herself into Garuda and I guess just planned to just kill everybody, cause why not, right? Which means that Clive and Sid have got to stop her before she dooms us. Ah! But yeah, I gotta say, uh, this game's narrative has me by the balls right now. It is so fucking fun. It really feels like a goddamn roller coaster ride. And I really do have to appreciate the, uh, the over the top action. Not just in the actual gameplay, but in like even the cutscenes. Like every shit between Sid and, and Benedict really was like some crazy Dragon Ball shit. They're like literally yelling and powering up like, ah! <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I know it's probably overdone in like anime and shit like that. But yeah, I still fucking love it, dude. I always say if you're gonna have like crazy over the top, like action and stuff, then just go all in, right? Just go full Dragon Ball. You can never go wrong when you go full Dragon Ball. But clearly Clive has uh, a lot more going on than even Sid, I think, was aware of. Clearly he's not just the first shield of the Phoenix and that's about it. Enjoy your one Phoenix power for the rest of the game. No, nah, clearly Clive got some crazy Mega Man bullshit where he like can steal other dominance powers. How? Why? Don't know yet. But that's an interesting premise. But uh, anyway, last episode, uh, the Dwarven Defender said, Actually, Nico, the reason that the Dominant of Fire's face isn't being shown is because they haven't mo modeled it yet. Its modeling won't be finished until the prequel DLC, Rosaria, the Ashy Country. <laughs> I got that reference. All right, some of you guys, that might have gone over some of you guys' heads and you might be like, what the fuck, what? Okay, first off, this is a Joe comment, hence the laughing. But the reason why this is funny is because this is a reference to what happened in Xenoblade 2. There's a character in the game, in like the base game, that you never see his face. And the longest time I'm like, dude, why aren't they showing his face? Oh God, it's gotta be some like crazy big reveal, right? Somewhere out what I'm talking about here. But it turns out it actually wasn't the case at all. They just simply didn't have like his model ready uh, in time for the base game's release. So they just kept him hooded. And when he shows up in the DLC later, he just takes his hood off and yeah, he's just a guy. <laughs> he's just some dude you've never seen before without any real big like, oh my God, it was him all along. So yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure we're actually, I mean, I, I think, I, I mean, I could, you know what? What if I'm actually wrong? What if this comment is actually 100% accurate and this just fucking happening? Well, that's shit, I'm gonna look like a real dumbass by this LP. Everyone in the comments like, yeah, haha, <laughs> Nico, that's, yeah, funny joke, real funny joke. Don't tell him. <laughs> History does have a tendency to repeat itself, doesn't it? But Dwarf Defender, thank you so much for your definitely, absolutely accurate comment that's totally, absolutely not, totally, absolutely gonna happen. And it is that reason you are comment of the day. By the way, I also want to uh, do a quick uh, uh, apology to you guys. I made a remark last episode that was in some rather poor taste when Benedicta was getting assaulted. I did not, should have, but I did not read the subtext of the situation where they were about to sexually assault her. I thought they were just killing her. Like that, and my mind immediately went, oh, she's about to die. And I was thinking of the guy that she killed earlier that, you know, was like, like begging to join her uh, her group. And she's like, no, it fucking kills him anyway. So I was like, ha ah, karma, karma's a bitch. But uh, yeah, no, they were about to like do other things. So I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that was uh, in poor taste. That, that, I should not have said that. Even if she is 
a bit of a monster in a lot of ways. Uh, I don't think I'd want to with that, wish that upon anybody. So, and yes, I am saying that th I think that is much worse than her simply just getting killed. Dude, fucking everybody's getting killed in JRPGs, especially if in an M-rated JRPG. But I was not actually trying to say that. I hope that they were going to do that, you know, and I, I want to make that sort of perfectly clear. So, uh, and I'm sorry about that. I apologize for that remark. But I will say, Benedict does give me some hella Lark scene vibes. Like, <laughs> like I almost wonder if Nomura popped in. He's like, can I have one character? Just just one. And they're like, okay, fine. They're like, all right, here we go. And they just gives her a picture, gives them a picture of Lark scene. And he's like, do that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Garuda's going to kill everybody. And we got to do something to stop it. But, uh, oh, wait, there's one thing I also did, by the way. I actually changed the control scheme again. I changed it actually to uh, the type C, which is like a combination of type A and B. Because I realized something that was happening last episode, and some of you also pointed this out. You might have noticed I was doing uh, this move like a lot, like the lunging move a lot. And the reason why was because the way the game is designed, right? The way it's designed is it wants you to continuously do what's called the magic burst, where it's where you swing your sword and then you press this immediately afterwards. So you're doing this because it does really good stagger damage. So on the previous control scheme, I was altering between R1 and R2, which was to fire the magic, right? Uh, the problem was that R1 and R2 pressed together at the same time made me do this. So yeah, that's why I kept lunging around. I kind of realized over time that it's not really like for how this game's set up, it's actually not the best way to go about it. I kind of haven't found like an absolutely perfect setup for this game's controls. I, I really wish I could customize them to the way that I want them. Like I'd honestly probably change the controls to something more akin to what Devil May Cry was, where like triangle is sword slice and square is my magic or slash gun and so forth. This one's pretty close. The type C does have square on attack, but uh, L1 is magic. Um, however, uh, the nice thing is it's not, it, whereas before it was like attack and magic at the same time to do the lunge move, now it's X in square, which is also what the type A control is as well to do the lunge move, which is way less of a chance of me uh, doing this move again and again and again. I was also finding kind of weird during those moments where there was like a quick time event and I have to like mash the fucking R1 button, which is a really awkward button to mash a lot. So I think this will work better. Having it a square works better, but I will probably have to re-teach my brain or my muscle memory here. The, the right controls to now, R1 is back to dodge again. Circle is now the uh, iconic ability, so, which actually is like Devil May Cry. This is essentially like Nero's move here. And then R2 uh, to do the uh, different moves. Thankfully, they were nice enough to, to make it so it's still square and triangle to do the moves. It's not like square and L1 with R2 held down, which would be really awkward. And now L1, and now the lock on that was on L1 is on L2. So yeah, I'm both telling you this and also my brain right now. I'm still probably going to fuck up a bit in the fights. And then another thing you guys told me about. I actually have a pre-order bonus that I got with this game that I apparently have not redeemed yet. It's over here. Uh, so Scholar Spectacles. Some scholars wear spectacles as a crutch for clouded eyes. They were stirring by a lifetime of pouring over close retorn tomes by lamplight. Others strain not to see, but wear them anyway. That might witness the truth of the world in even sharper detail and learn from it. Deep. But increases the amount of XP earned by 10%. That's pretty good. Uh, sure. Uh, Catesith Charm. A good luck charm all after the front foot of the mythical Catesith, a cat with a pelt of spun gold whose claws rake in treasure from the very earth. Legend likely has its origins in apocryphal tales of common Valsian coral. What with the rich golden gloss of the creature's coat and his distinctive habit of pawing at the ground before striking its prey. Uh, increased skill earned by 25%. Also good. And then I actually get the two swords. Both of which are actually the same stats and they are a little bit stronger than the one I have. Uh, Braveheart. Taking up this ancient long hook sword in one's hand invokes strange and familiar images of four nameless warriors who embark on a perilous journey, journey to save their realm. I'm thinking this must be an FF15 reference. And then Blood Sword. Taking up this frightfully bloodthirsting blade in one's hands evokes strange and familiar images of lifelong companions who cast their lot with the flames of rebellion. Uh, this one, I'm not sure. Is it FF5? I think I remember Firion having a sword kind of like this. That'd be kind of a weird one, though. I don't know. Maybe it's also 15 or maybe it's 14. But it's interesting. I'm actually noticing that games does seem to have like a colored like system for their things here to maybe represent like more rare equipment uh that's what the braveheart one looks like wow gnarly really this is this was this really a sword that knocked us out at one point this is okay i'm not gonna lie this one looks kind of goofy 
<laughs> this one looks a little... It looks a little goofy. It kind of almost looks out of place. What does the other one look like? Oh, that's way better. Oh, I like this one way better. It's a little more subtle. I think this is. I'm pretty sure this is Furion's sword. It looks a lot like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like this one a bit better. Maybe a bit stark, but still cool looking. Urgh. All right, I think I'll put on the Scholar Spectacles then. And the Kate Sith Charm. More EXP, more money. That's a lot more money too. I do actually want to also potentially return to uh, the town. I actually can't do that, by the way. Just like go right back out here. But uh, I kind of want to wait till I get to a uh, fast travel point. All right. Any new dink lore? Oh, yeah. Garuda. The Warden of Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire, takes the form of a fearful harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey in hawk-like talons. Or with hawk-like talons. Such is the icon's frenzy for destruction that even allies of the dominant of the day are want to begin fleeing the battlefield when dark clouds gather overhead. All right, let's uh, head into the eye of the storm here. <laughs> Why does he keep putting just two gil on the ground? So like, what the fuck? What kind of reward is that? All right, come on. You're not, you're not fooling anyone game. That is literally nothing. That is literally fucking nothing. I'm not gonna be like, oh, thank God I got that two gil on the ground. What the hell? One for every fragment of our mind. Make sure we kill all of them. Oh, hello, wind elemental. Oh god, I'm already fucking up with my. my wounds, boy. I should keep on my feet. Muscle memory. Ah! Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Low in health, low in potions. Let's head back here. Kinda glad I can do this. Even if it's like, yeah, it makes no sense that in like the middle of the story, I'm just like, all right, bye. And that just automatically heals me, right? Yep. I wonder if I can actually upgrade the sword. Yes. Yes. What do you want? You get. Oh, we got a new sword, the bastard sword. Uh, but the bastard sword fully upgraded just gives me exactly what I have. The same same stats for my uh, pre-order shit. Okay, I think I have a new song on my jukebox over here. Yeah, histoire. Oh, that's got a vibe to it. I think I like this one a little bit better. That one was a bit melancholy for my taste. <laughs> you done had so many uses. Shut up, Noah. Let me tell you more about my adventure, old man. Level up. Come on. Hear my dank lore. Uh, uh, Ravenous reader. I believe you will find most interesting. Had a new new entries. So that, like, he... that we didn't have before? What was holding up mean? The Valsian calendar, the dating system used throughout the Twins, which marks the years of the realm. The past is the signing of the Continental Accord some 800 years ago. In the centuries since, since, nations have risen and fallen, and the concord between them has faltered, but the calendar persists. Aegis. Dating back to antiquity, the term Egai has historically been used to describe those ethereal entities that can be conjured by dominance. Aegis are capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant who gave them being happen to be slain. Well, I'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get to work on that in a second here. A man named Margrace. A mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. He is rarely seen without his heavy robe, nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm to an unknown end. Interesting. Okay, so what... So there is like a difference between priming and then... Okay, semi-priming. The act of a dominant calling upon a part of their icon's power without fully transforming into the legendary beast itself. It does not require nearly as much ether to, as to fully prime, taking less of a toll on the dominant's flesh. Upon semi-priming, the host takes on some aspects of their icon, spreading wings or becoming clad in stone. Well, that's cool. So branded is a common per pejorative term for bearers marked with a brand. Newborn babies are tested at birth and those found to have the knack are branded on the cheek and taken into custody of the state. Yeah, sort of knows them. Calling him that. Yeah, so what was the hanged man thing? I was kind of confused by that. Quentin's Tavern in Lost Wing is almost the beating heart of the village. Not only do the villagers congregate here to eat, drink, and make merry, it is also frequented by traveling traders seeking to load their wagons with Lost Wing's famous wine. Oh, is that all it is? They kind of got it like I was like, like I got the tarot hangman card. Like there was going to be more to it, but it seemed like it was just basically to tell everyone in town that, hey, don't fuck with this guy or do what he asks. Okay, the Royal Intelligencers, an elite unit of Royal Knights of the... Uh, Willude, I think I said it's pronounced Willude, not Load. Lewd, like Benedicta. Led by Benedicta Harmon, who led clandestine incursions deep into the territory of the enemy nations. 
Unlike Walud's main battlefield forces, those orders are usually issued by their Lord Commander, the it which I guess must have been Sid at some point. The intelligencers were port directly to the king, or at least they did, until their dissolution in the aftermath of Sid and Clive's surprise attack on Karen Norvin. They tended to Margrace, servant of a man who goes by the name Lord Margrace, together they travel across the twins to some unknown end. That's great, really, really detailed, thank you. Interesting, I wonder what the leveling up thing actually does, though. Is it just to show how much lore this old man has, or did I, did I actually unlock those two new lore bits from the leveling up? I was kind of unsure if that was like, Oh yes, you gave that to me, so that was added. Or if that was from the level up, I, I, maybe it was from the level up. You are always welcome, Clive. But why just those two? That seems very random. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Stop talking about the dung already, Noah. All right, that's it. Let's go back to what we were doing. Ah, uh, interesting. The uh, when we were visit areas, the glowy spots on the ground seemingly respawn. I don't know if they're like completely random or not, but <laughs> I'll go through a few fights here because I'm actually. Uh, my muscle memory is fucking up. I know, I know it's like, you probably, I probably could just keep doing what I've been doing, but I kind of feel like over time that that other thing is going to come to fuck me up. Like I said, it really would be great if the game gave me the, the full capabilities to be able to just put whatever one I want it in the game, but uh, it's fine. Woo. Yeah, one thing I will have to work on that I'm still... Uh, kind of trying to figure out is is remembering which icon I currently have equipped on myself. Like, they're all color, but I, I will say they're like, the UI is over on like the, the tops of the screen and it, the, it's like, <laughs> my peripheral isn't immediately picking up like, okay, which one am I, which one do I have on me right now? Because I can't tell from just my regular base attacks. I can only really tell from like, like this stuff. Oh, there's the counter for that move. Who is that? That's just looking gnarly, bro. You doing all right? Benedicta! He's in there. I know it. The I or the dominant fire? I thought just Garuda's in there. Oh, it means because he's been hearing a voice, right? No, he's, he's talking about the voice he keeps hearing. Oh, it's a separate area. The Eye of the Tempest. Born of the darkness buried deep within a broken Lady Benedicta, the Eye of the Tempest is an uncontrollable vortex of immense proportion, fed solely by Garuda's raw fury. Cool. I'm fucking ready, bro. Oh, no, it is him. But that is the whole voice he hears, too, isn't it? Yeah. Clive. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother? Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. That weirdly silhouetted Watch face. The flames of his icon to Joshua. Get out! Ah! It? I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sit! There's no time to walk around this or climb over it. Forgive me. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Especially if I'm separated from... Separated from, uh, Sid is one thing, but from Torgal too? Awakening. Oh, shit. Oh, my, my, I healed up again. Actually, maybe every, any time I go to the world map or leave an area, my, I fully heal. Maybe? That's how that works. Awakening. A familiar voice beckons Clive into the heart of a raging storm. Clive follows, hoping they might find the source of his deep-seated anguish and quell it once and for all. Freaky. Where did he go? He's a goddamn phantom. <laughs> Holy shit, hey! Fuck off, Garuda! I'm in the middle of something. I'm not here for you, Garuda. I mean I was, but not anymore. I don't care.
Goddamn. Envir environments in this game look fucking crazy, dude. It's, it's really the most impressive thing to me. Characters look good. Environments look fucking insane. This shit looks bananas. It probably looks like absolute ass on YouTube. God, I went back and watched the, the fucking... Uh, the section where I was going through the castle on YouTube and it looks so bad. YouTube bitrate just fucking absolutely crushes any like darkened areas like that. Like I promise you it looked considerably better on my end, but oh my God. And even even the video, like the raw video also looked better. It's just YouTube. YouTube's bitrate is just fucking awful with that. Oh Jesus Christ. The fuck? Is she trying to stop me from fighting him? I mean, I guess that was kind of what she was doing before, but I think her mind's kind of gone too, right? <laughs> I like I'm like, uh, I'm barely pushing ahead, then I suddenly just leap up this thing at normal speed. God damn. Nowhere to run, dickhead! You're not Joshua, are you? Or also me? I'm just still holding on to that theory. Desperately. You called me! Why? Where'd he go? You dick bitch! Unhand me! Am I really about to fight this bitch? She's like fucking three stories tall. Oh my god, he's going the fuck it. I'm so fucking DB ready. Ah. Come on, bitch. Well, y'all angry because I got your powers? Take down. Larger enemies will become partially staggered with their will gauges are reduced. Reduce Gerudo's deadly embrace on a partially staggered enemy will topple it, leaving it vulnerable to fall up attacks. Yeah, I was I was uh, messing up or messing around with that uh, earlier against the the little flying dudes. Okay, so grab. Come here, bitch. Uh, happy birthday to the ground. Uh, uh. Whoa. Ow. Whoa -ho -ho yeah. Don't think so. Yeah, go ahead and wind up those attacks. All right, time to go in. Yeah, I'm gonna use your own moves against you, bitch. Ah! 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 Oh no, that's some big fucking beefy damage. Oh, she liked it. God, this damn, this game's so fucking cinematic. Look at the budget on this shit. Ah! That doesn't look good. I think I better move away. Am I in between this shit? I think I am. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I, I gotta stay the fuck back. <laughs> Holy 
shit! Okay, I was not out of the way. Thought I was in between it there, but apparently not. Oh, yeah! Power of a god! Ow. Whoa. Come here. No, 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 no. Hey, well, no, I moved towards another tornado. Shit. Woo. Shit. I have a lot of recoverable health. I wish the I wish Toro was here to heal it. Oh my god. Here we go. Time to go crazy. Some BB damage. HP bar is not moving. I think I've done as much as I can there. Come here, bitch. Stab this shit into your face. You ain't shit, Garuda. Urgh! I know you're in there, Benedicta. Ah! <laughs> this is way better. What? Way better to fun master square than R1. Ah! Ha! Cut off your little, your little thingy. And your face too. Ah! Ah! Give me power. I'll level me the fuck up from that shit. Thank you. Oh my god. Well, that was, that was an insanely fucking cool fight. Bye! Okay, now where'd the other guy go? That's the power of Final Fantasy V Sword, I think. Now, how do I get down from here? Oh, hi! Oh, come on, I can't just regenerate that bullshit. Come on, that took a while. Fucking Morbin. Child of Fate. Help me, Danny Sadolfus. So what the fuck? This guy's like making me turn to Ifrit? Like, again, I would say all this is in my mind, but Sid saw this fucker. He saw that guy. And so did some other people. 
Is he a shadow, the true self, or something? Well, either way, baby. Oh, I'm fucking hungry. And I feel like getting some Garuda Snickers right now. Oh, baby, it's time. Oh, can't you fight? <laughs> Embodying Ifrit. Controls for Ifrit are as follows. Square for melee, L1 for ranged, R1 for evade. Okay, that's pretty simple. Uh, circle for the iconic lunge. We use to charge the enemy, covering great distance in a short period of time, as well as dealing damage if the enemy is struck. Other abilities available on Bike Spirit and Fairfront can be seen in the abilities tab on the main menu. Hey, how's it going? I'm coming for you. Let me, let me check out here. Square immediately following a melee combo to deliver a powerful finishing blow to a downed enemy. Uh, square, rapid succession. Uh, use L1 to launch a gout of fireballs, dodge, and the launch. Oh my god, he's going the fuck in. Come here, bitch. Whoa, nope. Arr, come here. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, me hangry. Me so hangry. Oh, eat that shit. Uh-oh. Come here. Uh-oh. Oh my god, fucking 20k damage! Come here, bitch! No, 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 you stop that. Uh-oh. Skyfall! Like the 007 movie! Holy shit! Uh-oh. Am, am I pressing square? I think I'm pressing square. <laughs> Oh, is that all you got? Coming in hot. Aerial blast. I don't like the look of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Hey, stop that. Ow. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, the music is going so hard. Those fireballs do some damage, too. Uh oh, no, no, put me down. No, 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 no. Ah! Ow. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> she's, she's like fucking Vegeta. <laughs> that, that, this move always works so well for him, too. Arrgh! Where your HP bar go, bitch? Oh, there it is. Arrgh! Ah, me going full toggle right now. Me harnessing inner, inner doggo. God, I can feel every hit. Ah, oh God, my arm. I need that. I need that for beating your ass. Oh God, oh God. This is, ah, oh, this is looking well. Oh God, ow, ow, ow. Stop dancing on me. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh my God, gnarly! Uh, uh, the power of a god! Oh my God, spirit bomb! Uh, I'm so fucking sick of this bitch. Hey, uh, come here! I'm about to plant me a dumbass tree. See, I can rip off limbs too. Come here. Hey. 
Oh, come here. Oh, you want some of this? Oh, hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh, Dosa. Uh oh, she's growing it back to. Ow! Oh, right out of my dick. Right out of my flame dick. No. I said no. I said no, no. Come here. Ow. Yeah, we like you just keep regenerating. That all you got? No, come here. Arr, I'm gonna yell in your face. Arr, arr. Oh, set you on fire. She doesn't like it. That's too bad. She's still gonna get it. She's still gonna get it. You gonna get it. You get it. No, I'm very ticklish. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, how fire! Dog fire! Holy shit! Let me go and just do a casual 200k damage, you know. <laughs> well, that was the coolest shit ever. <laughs> I am. I am fucking. <laughs> I am fucking amped out of that shit. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, you better level me up after that bullshit. I got a wind shard. A singular wind shard from that insane fight. And also some other crap. Woo! You ain't gonna be in Final Fantasy 17, Benedict! Ah! Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Damn! Uh, uh. Stop this! Now! No, let me finish, Daddy Sidolphus. Oh shit, oh fuck, he's Morbin too, baby! Oh god, is he about to go full old man on me? Ah, my inner old guy! Oh fuck! Damn, it's just like a fucking movie, dude. Arrgh! You do not fuck with this old man. By Ramu's beard. It's like fucking Gandalf. Oh shit, he's got Shunpo. He's about to judgment bolt my ass. Oh, I think he is. Ah, shit! Oh, I'm sorry! Ah! Ow. Nobody messes with daddy, old man, Sid. Man, what if your, your, your icon was a fucking old man? <laughs> you don't get a cool, like, crazy windbird or a fire dragon. Nah, you get a... Get a weird, creepy old man with thunder abilities. You're too nice is your problem. Bloody mess, this. She dead? <sighs> she fucking better be. After that beating. Thanks, Sid. Unless you killed me. In which case, fuck you, Sid. If he dead, I get to eat remains. Oh, guys. The ghost you've been chasing. It was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. Me neither, dude!
Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Benner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? She's dead. <laughs> uh, but also, thank God, she's dead. Holy shit. Bellinus Tor, the Holy Empire Sember. Is this pre rendered? Fuck it, Odin! In the house! King is bold and desperate. This one actually looks like it might be pre rendered. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. What the fuck? Gregor's breath for your wings. Gregor's breath. Holy shit. Oh, he's fucking Muhammad. Who's Odin? Is that like Barnabas or something? Yeah, she looks way too good. This, this is pre-rendered. Mega Flare! Holy mother of God! My controller's losing its mind right now. Woo! Oh, now, not now, now we're in game. I think. Do this music! Don't get hit. You, it, it's instant death. Don't get hit with a Zantetsuken. It only takes one. Dude, the visuals are crazy. She's damn right. You see that shit, guys? Can I actually stop this in the... Oh, I can't! <laughs> I can actually stop this in the middle of the... Uh, God, I can't. I actually can't tell at this point if it's pre-rendered or not. Belnus Tor, named for the highest of its peaks, Sambrex Belnus Tor is a region of rolling grassy hills, slightly inland of where the Strait of Alpha meets the Sea of Grace. In the year 873, it was the site of a decisive battle in the Kingdom of Alude's failed bid to regain a foothold in Storm. Holy Empire of Sambre, nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm, Sambrex is home to the Mother Crystal, known as Drake's Head at whose foot stands the holy capital of Oriflame. The Empire has been at war with the Kingdom of Walud, situated just across the Strait of Altha, ever since the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, and judging by their clash at Belinus Tor in 873, neither side shows, sign, shows any sign of backing down. Walud! The sole surviving nation in Ash, Walud has its capital at Stonehair, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine. Oh wait, so we went from Drake's head Drake's spine. It's ruler, uh, ruler Barnabas Tharmor, dominant of Odin. Okay, there you go. And Warden of Darkness recently dispatched units of intelligencers to Storm with orders to scout ahead prior to a full and scale invasion. Having ceded territory to the Holy Empire of Sunbreak in the Battle of Twin Realms in the, eight, the year 865, the Willords launched an attack on Bellinus Tor in 873 with the intent of regaining their lost foothold on the continent across the strait. Bahamut, the Warden of Light. No, he's not light. He's he's neutral element. Uh, whose power dwells within the Dionless Dion Le Sage, Prince of Sambrek, in the Holy Empire. The Gregarian faithful hold dragons to be sacred creatures. And Bahamut, the most sacred of them all, because of this, as well as the protection it grants them, the icon is loved and revered by the Im Imperial populace. Odin, the Warden of Darkness, 
who rides into battle atop his spectral steed and whose black blade is said to be sharp enough to split the very seasoned twain, his latest dominant, King Barnabas of Walud. Cool. Get back to action. Why'd you stop? Why'd I keep going? He's like, oh, I need a break. I fired two things. We formed the cohorts. At what? Give me my royal slippers. Your Highness. Good. I think we're back to in game now. Maybe it was always in game. I don't know. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital. What of my father? His is radiance he... is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The emperor's safety is paramount. I think I recognize his voice. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. All of them. All of them. I'm trying to figure out where I've heard it from. Is that me? That's me. Why am I naked? It was me. I killed Joshua. Oh, okay. It was what I thought? Oh, I am naked. I'm like completely naked. Clyde, put your dick away. Come on. Ah, you're awake. You're yeah, just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster, and I deserve to die. So end it. End it now. Please, please. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first. I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in the hall. I don't get it though. Like, what the fuck's going on? So, who was that guy? And who am I? So, I did kill him? What I thought was actually right? But it just keeps confusing me because usually shit like that is like, oh, it was in my brain, you know, and nobody else can see him. What are you going to do now? That does not seem to be the case. The Wages of Guilt. Quest Lock. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. Such times, quest givers will be indicated with a lock. May as well hear what he has to say. I never forget anything in here, did I? No. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? 
Don't make me rip off your clothes and have to look at your beautiful, sexy body and your massive cock. Okay, that, that last part felt a little unnecessary, but all right. Storm cry. Hey, new weapon that's, and it is actually better than the one I have. So spur by our cries did wind become storm. No scratches, right? I actually cannot upgrade it though. Seemingly. Wow, cool looking sword. Holy shit. Oh yeah, my dog leveled up. Went up a, a little bit. He's now Fame Wolf. Not sure if that really affected anything or not, but still cool. Oh damn, I guess I'll poison spin, brother. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade the precision dodge. So we'll increase the amount of uh, frames or, yeah, extends the trigger window. And then I think I'll actually hold on to the rest. I think it. I think now I may want to actually save up for like one of these moves. The Wages of Guilt. The Clive discovers that the second dominant fire, the one who slew his brother 13 years ago, be 13 years before, was none other than he himself. His resolve to see Joshua's murderer put to the sword undiminished, he begs for Sid to grant him death, but Sid has other plans for his tortured ward. Yes? What? What? You think because you're the dominant infantry, you're fucking all hot shit, do you? Well, you ain't! Now down. shut up and give me your money! Holy shit, look at this. Whoa. Breath of Wind Rook's Gambit. Residual wind ether that has failed to dissipate on the battlefield and is instead manifested to the solid form not like crystal, but an elemental period that renders it more far more potent, if not highly specialized in its applications. Reduces Rook Gambit's cooldown by 2.7 seconds. That's the uh, counter move, which I did a few times. That was, that's pretty fun to do, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sell all valuables? Good, there actually is a... I was thinking to myself, I was like, ah, I have to go through here and find the thing that's valuable. No, there's actually, there is actually a sell all valuables button, which is good. Come again. Come again. I don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Ah, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Four. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Hmm. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Get your shit together. Hmm. So we're suggesting that maybe it's not as simple as it seems then? I mean, it, it, I mean, clearly it isn't, right? There's like a dude running around that keeps calling to me. And then I turn into Ifrit. And clearly, he's also got, like, some fire bullshit of his own that he's wielding himself, so, yeah. Where's, uh, uh, my friend Jill? The girl you came with is still sleeping. Don't disturb her. Oh, come on. I haven't seen her in ages. We haven't, like, technically, like, reunited yet. Hey, it's, look, it's the same guy I just talked to. <laughs> Man, you you sure broom fast, my dude. It's funny, give me that uh, whole like quest line thing. They're like, oh yeah, quests can be locked out, but I'm, I'm actually not even seeing any quests on the map. So I don't even know what the hell's talking about. I think the most important thing we should be asking though is where the fuck that fat ass little Moogle is? Shut up, chicken. All right, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about that Moogle. A fat, chunky Moogle that was here a while ago and he's not here anymore. I saw him fly by and then he pissed off. Oh, there he is. He's in the back. What the hell? What is he doing? Cooking a pizza? Oh, I can't even talk to him. Fuck. Look at him with his weird little cherry on his head. Oh, my God. He's so fat. He's so freaking fat. How do those little wings even keep him in the air? I want to pet him. I want to pinch his little chubby Eat cheeks. Your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Follow those two simple rules and you will always be welcome at the factory. I don't care about any of that. I want to talk to the Moogle back there. <laughs> Moogle! Look at me! Damn it. It's not even facing this way. The, so the sound of silence. Is it actually silence? It is. It's just like ambience. Screw that. Give me my music. Give me my jovial music again. I don't know if I really have much more to tell you. Maybe a little bit. 
Shit, never mind. I had a lot more to tell you. The tomes? The hooded man. Wait, we went from a man named Margrace to back to hood the hooded man again? A mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant fire. Clive first saw him at Phoenix Gate on the night of the Imperial invasion, and for years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother. But to Clive's eternal chagrin, he is proved otherwise. So now Clive's uh, bio says, an Imperial bearer turned deserter who joined forces with Sid to hunt down the second dominant, dominant of fire. After being drawn to a fierce battle with Benedicta, Dominant Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ifri awakens within him, and he discovers that the Dominant Fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none other than himself. Or is it? Ifrit, a fire-aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the Realm 860, when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the Phoenix creature flung him itself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before. His reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation. That his dominant was none other than Clive Rossfield. Dion Lesage, leader of the Dragoons, the most elite warriors of the Holy Empire of Sembrek, who are the first to leap into the fray when the Empire finds herself under threat. Often literally, Dion is also the dominant of Muhammad, Warden of Light. Barnabas, King of Alud and dominant of Odin, and also voiced by Ma Malos, the Warden of Darkness. <laughs> Again, voicing another character that focus whose main element is darkness. At the Battle of Belenus Tor, he not only took personal command of the royal army, but rode into the fray, galloping through the air atop his six-legged steed and goading Bahama into a duel that shook the skies. Wait, his 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 steed has six legs? I've never noticed that. Benedict Harmon. The dominant of Garuda, after Clive took her power to Kaer Norvent and the keep was set to fire, she and her comrades were forced to make a hurry retreat only to be set upon by bandits. What was left of Benedict's power ran amok, summoning forth the raging whirlwind within which she was at last to lose her life at the hands of Clive, Ros Clive Rossfield as his icon and his icon Ifrit. Ooh, Ramu, the Warden of Thunder, whose power most lately awakened within Sidolphus Telamon. The icon is known the realm over as a symbol of judgment, no doubt inspired by its sage Mian and the scepter with which it summons its leaven bolts. Folklore has it that not only are dominance of Ramu blessed with the command of lightning, they're also granted a deeper understanding of the true nature of the world. Oh, really? That's fucking cool. All right, let's uh, go someplace. Over here. Ah, it's actually not letting me go anywhere else either. The King's Fall. Here tumble the waters of the Empire's brooks and bournes to converge into a single resplendent cataract where a bygone king is said to have both, have lost both life and kingdom. The King's Fall. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Clive's sad. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. Damn it! No! You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. Give me my oh, pep talk! Know that. No buts about it. I think he's trying to say he doesn't believe that it is Clive. The Hunter and the Hunted. Doggo! Pat me! You're a good boy. Give me scratches! We not care if you dominate a fire or whatever. We only care you give me good snacky dudes. Where are my snacky? I don't have any, boy. What? They all caught on fire when I turned into that big dinosaur thing. Oh, me never mind. Me not love you anymore. <sighs> God damn it, Togo. Me go find somebody else who way cooler and also have cookies. Thanks, boy. Glad to see you always have my back when I have cookies. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. This is stupid. I sent Gav on a wild goose chase. 
Four chunks of Y right. Ooh, nice music. Uh, no map for this area. Eww, what the fuck are these things? They need a dot. More killing. Oh, for fucking what? Tell me. Ah, for what? Uh, that's right, because killing is fucking awesome. Blah, <gasps> blah, 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 blah. Ah, come on. Everybody, come over here. I got stuff for everybody. What in the fuck was that? What now? <laughs> oh, what now? Who the fuck? Ah! Me! Bullman! Oh, good thing he has a cloncloth cloth covering his bollocks. Oh, God, let me just go ahead and take that shit right in the face. Come here. Sit your ass on the ground. Okay, whoa. I have a hard time telling when exactly that move is attacking me. There we go. All right, here we go. Come here. Big damage. Uh, you lose. <laughs> you lose. God, the combat system of this game is so fucking fun. Holy balls. Give me that money. Me call dibs. Oh, you're not eating it? Okay. What for me? Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Can't be much further now. Come on, Clive. Don't be depressed. It might not be what you think. You know? I don't know. I mean, it probably is, but maybe not. Yeah, I realize the, the Garuda ability makes flying enemies way less annoying. Just like, yeah, boom. Brett, you want to come right out of the sky. Woo! Woo! Oh, goody, another one of you. Yeah, come on. Let me through. Ah! Uh, but. Uh. You dare touch me! Uh. There we go. Oh god, now what? Okay, Clive. Me still love you. Even without cookies. What is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Uh oh. Oh no, it's our friend! Gaff! I'm coming! Who goes there? This one's a dessert! Take his head! Out of my way. Out of my bloody blooming way. You made your choice. Oh, guarding guys. Oh, good job, Toro. Kill one. Oh, God. Oh, goody. This guy's back. And a fucking wyvern? I guess they're working together? And also you guys. Holy shit. Hello. Thanks, Sid. Clive, what's the 
situation. You're late. Captain Trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. Take the dragoon. Okay. Oh, wait. Night of the Dying Sun. Oh, fuck it. Ah. Oh, you finished all the dragon already? Jesus. Working fast there, Sid. Come on. Uh, oh, God. Pressing wrong buttons here. No, wrong thing still. Damn it. Oh, shit. Wow, that one came faster than the other one did. Okay, I don't know if I can parry that move. his ass on the ground mm. oh my god come on oh come on he's up all my potions here oh dude I fucking suck come on man come on there we go yeah I got this perfect dodges in mirage dive Holy shit. Oh shit, get him sit. Uh, damn. Nice sit. Time waster. Come on, let's finish him off. Uh, 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 eat my bird foot. Ah, oh, level up. Thank you. Whew. I did not do great that fight, though, to be honest. It took a lot of hits that I could have dodged. Come on. Kept dodging too late. Back, you cannibals, back. Oh, he's not looking good. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh my god! <laughs> There's two dudes Shit. running at us! Oh, oh fucking sit time! <laughs> Nuke this bitch! Uh, ground pal! Nice job, Torgo. Ah, uh, suck this. Suck these nuts. Uh. You hold on? Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Give me your hand. His other hand's jacked, though. Help me. Help me. <gasps> Help me it's just like that fucking day. No, I'm not gonna let this shit happen again. Fucking better not. Got a PTSD as it is. Me help. So, uh, anybody got any Torgo snacks? Just saying.
Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. <laughs> That's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. Yes! I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. Ah. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> I fucking love you, Gav. Thank you, Gav. Kiss me. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm, I'm glad they like brought that up, you know? Oh, back to the hooded guy. No birds returning this year. Margrace. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. Wait. Roxas? It is Joshua. He must be stopped. I think. Sure looks like it. Shit, I gotta go talk to my lore guy after that shit. Oh my god. Lore guy, was that Joshua? Same hair color. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Oh, fucking finally, dude. Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Goots. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. What's that about? <gasps> oh my god, the little fat Moogle's over there! Moogle! Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. Oh my god. He's not funny. He's the most beautiful Moogle there ever was. Oh my god. He's so fat. He's the fattest little Moogle there ever was. Oh my god. I think this is the fattest I've ever seen a Moogle look like. I mean, I know, I know. They're already a little chunky in the other games. But this is like, 
Look at him. He's all poof. He's all poof and fat. Not a moogle. <laughs> they even have a moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Does he talk? Oh, so drink it in, Koopo. Is he talking moogle speak? I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Be ne Bektar the bull? Or Nectar? Plive. But you have no neck. That's funny. So it would seem. Interesting. He's, he seems surprised that he understands him too. <laughs> that sounds painful. Yes, we're friends now. It's right. It's our little secret. Nectar. More. I should be more like no nectar. Seriously, you ain't got no neck, you little chunky monkey. You clearly, we clearly know where all the rations have been going. You've been eating those pizzas you've been making in the oven, haven't you? All right, Noah, are you still over here talking about your 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 poo? <laughs> you dung had so many yep. uses. And how many oh God, you got so more dank lore for me? Uh, I think my brother might still be alive. Oh, that is the dankest of the dank. Hit me up, brother. Uh, what the hell? I didn't update. Fuck you. That sure as fuck was Joshua. May have a look at Joshua again. That was definitely him. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if it's like some weird shit where like, like he says he has to be stopped, right? Most me wonder if it, if it was like, this was like a fake Joshua and then the other one's like the real one or something. Maybe like the real dominant of fire. And then Joshua was like the fake one or something or like the other one. I don't know. I don't know. Or like this, that one was his real brother. I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Cause seemingly he showed up in the past, right? With the hood on. All right. See our friend. Hey, baby. Get that sword off me. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive. Come here, baby. You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. Ah. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. Can you just nuke them with your ice powers? And they call us dominant. Diamond dust them to death? What? Yeah, me too. A song of ice and fire. What happened to Clive? 
what happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Or would we? Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. <laughs> a new quest is available! Two items are available. Oh shit! Things are happening! The crafting recipe? Speak with Karen. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Gaia Blade! Oh shit, new, sh new stuff! And it's better than what I have! While common on the southern continent, worship of the land itself as a deity is almost unheard of in Valsia. That, however, has not stopped the import of fine steel blades blessed by Gaian presbyters under the claim that they are deadlier and more durable than those forced of the twins. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. Thanks, lady. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. We can upgrade it, too. You can thank me later. And again! My yes! Best work, but it'll do. That'll do, pig. I'll do. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. We got a few quests here and uh, to check out as for uh, seemingly bidding adieu to everyone, though I, I don't really imagine this is going to be the last I see these guys. Let's, let's be fucking honest. But goddamn, dude, this game's fun as fuck. The story is bonkers. I, I'm, I'm always happy when I see uh, characters, like, bring up things that I'm thinking, you know? Like Sid basically saying, hey, just so you know, I, like, this guy was not an illusion in your brain. I, I saw him, too. Which is exactly what I was thinking. Like, oh, yeah, I mean, in most cases, most stories like this, this is like, if this was just him, then he would have been imagining this. But everyone else can see this guy as well. So something else is going on here. And seemingly he looks a lot like fucking Joshua, right? He looks like an older Joshua. God damn, my, maybe my crazy crack my theory is it'd be right after all in its own weird way. It's like both right and also not right. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode as much as I did. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready. We got my picky penguin aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. God, I can't, I can't wait to play more of this game. I'm already like anticipating play, playing more of it. Shit's so fucking fun. Fuck me. I think I'm starting to understand the magic of Yoshi P now. It all makes so much demon sense. Fuck.
But uh, anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.